change together, New York City. Cheryl, you know, piggybacking off that, you know, is it down to Bill de Blasio? Is it down to sort of the mayor's office to maybe adopt the stick approach and actually push the NYPD to start implementing some reforms, to actually start listening to the general public who are extremely dissatisfied by the conduct of the officer in this case and also the first responders? Well, unless and until there is a change with the institutionalized racism that exists on New York PD and many others throughout the nation, then those who die at the hands of those officers will have died in vain. And so, you know, I hear over and over that if Mr. Garner hadn't resisted arrest, none of this would have happened. But my understanding is that he had not committed any crime on that date. And so what I see occurring with Mr. Garner is what I call contempt of cop. These officers have a history with him. They know him. And on this day, they told him to do something. And he was just tired. And he didn't want to do it. And so what we saw ultimately was punishment. They punished him for not turning around. They punished him for not following their orders. And there should be some accountability for that. That officer should be dealt with administratively. There should be a consequence. And unless and until there's a consequence commensurate with his action, because we know that it was a prohibited chokehold that he applied, then there is no closure, there is no justice, and there is no reform. Changes need to be made from the top down. And the police union is doing what they do. They're saying what they say. That's their job. I'm not mad at them. But we understand that great deference is given to police officers, and they say a thing and people want to believe it, and it's not always truthful what they say. Yeah, I and, mean, you know, on the police union note, just for another few minutes, uh, you know, Linda J here says the NYC police union makes the police look even worse. And my supervising producer, Patrick McMenamin, says police unions are becoming an embarrassing caricature of themselves. Mr. Garner's family should not be rewarded because he repeatedly broke the law and resisted arrest, is the quote. So $5.9 million and a body bag is a, quote, reward in the eyes of the police union. Wow. Uh, you know, I mean, is there a sense here that the police union are actually doing more harm than good in protecting the officers that they claim to be representing, Cheryl? Well, I think that they're just showing us who they are. And I think when people tell you who they are, you should believe them. And so it's offensive to say somehow that uh, Mr. Garner deserved uh, death. Uh, I don't care if he was selling cigarettes. He wasn't selling them that day. And I don't care if he was a repeat offender. That's not a capital murder punishment. And so you don't get to kill people as a police officer because you don't like them, because you um, live a different lifestyle, because your values vary. You don't get to kill them. We have a process. We have a system. You take them to court if they're guilty of criminal activity, and then you let the chips fall where they may. That didn't happen in this instance. They punished Mr. Garner. Yeah, I mean, you know, Amy, talk to us a little bit more about that, because obviously uh, there is this, 